Great. Yep, everything is on point. Great. Okay. So we'll just take a minute for everyone to enter the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, we set it up this way because I thought it'd be fun if you all had your cameras on. Because they're not just going to be chitty chatting. We're also going to be doing things together. So uh, we'll just give it one more minute and then we'll get started together. Absolutely. Okay, cool. It's great. Okay. All right, let's do it. Welcome beauties. I am so, so, so excited to host. I understand that your name is actually pronounced Anastasia because I heard you say it, <laughs> yeah. um, but I know all of the, you know, all of us Americans probably just call you Anastasia. So I'm super excited. First of all, myself to have this time with you. I am a huge, huge, huge fangirl of yours. So this is a big opportunity for me and also, you know, to share uh, with the women in my field, because I have done all the things I am a believer, as I know you are, that your internal harmony and your spiritual, emotional, psychological alignment expresses as beauty through your body. And I have explored, you know, different types of face yoga and gua sha and billions and billions of products. And when I came across your work and your gorgeous face on uh, TikTok, actually, I started to listen to the language that you use. And I started to see, wow, there is so much alignment here in the way that we talk about the body, the healing capacity that we have and how this kind of regeneration and self-care translates literally into beauty, maybe even objective beauty. So I would love to, you know, just sort of pick your brain for a little while before we get into ladies, a demo and assessment. I'm super excited about this. And then if you have questions, just pop them in the chat. Um, we're going to also talk about, I'm, I'm, I'm here to open the doors, uh, for her program, which is amazing, which I have done personally, not only for the two months of the program, it's actually technically one month, um, but also for, uh, the past many months, like six months. And it's really, really changed the game for me in the way that these portals do. I'm in her membership and I am a believer. I teach my daughters this, that this is how I want to relate, you know, to, my, my beauty. And there's a lot of, um, sort of surprise elements that I've learned through you about what is most important. So I think we'll touch on that and we'll make sure that you have what you need, um, to, to join for the 30 day journey, which, uh, we'll keep the doors open until Sunday. And then I will send you on your, on your way. Um, so, I would love to start off if you could just tell us a little bit about, because when I talk to all my friends know about you. <laughs> so when I talk <laughs> about you um, to my friends, I tried to convey how broad a base of training and knowledge you have, because it, it reminds me a lot of myself, like the way that I have curated so many different um, holistic avenues to wellness. And I see that in you too. So I'd love for you to just sort of like intro us to you as a woman and how it is that you have come upon all of these different modalities that you weave together in this masterful way, uh, in your program so that we can know like how it happened for you. Well, it happened to me when I was 25 and I honestly noticed like aging signs and I lived in a very fast uh, paced city when all my girlfriends were 18 from 18 years old they were on botox and they were like well 25 is <laughs> that's that time and I was like well but on my logical mind I was like but this is not the solution it's just one time thing right I wasn't sure I, like, I didn't know how I'm pretty sure a lot of women are not knowledgeable about what is botox what is neurotoxin what is what does it mean to inject into your face for uh, three to six months but i looked at my girlfriends and i'm like well but you don't really look as as young as you wish right you just don't have you just have the smooth space 
And uh, I, I had my own personal bottle that I had very hooded eyes. And after 25, it went to the point that I couldn't use the mascara. It would always get into here. And I just start noticing that my jawline is no longer existing. And the pictures really took me to the place of, okay, if there is anything I can do to, to, to make it natural, to make it natural. And then I start, it was around that time when the COVID would start, just about the COVID would start. So I had a lot of time with um, a lot of mentors from the facial massage at the beginning when I saw that the ladies looked amazing and they started just showing me the, the facial massage. But then I was like, hmm, so how does it work on a real, real deal? Because... I'm very programmatic person in the sense of, okay, if there is an opportunity to build a new collagen, new elastic, if there is opportunity to regenerate the skin, how does it happen? It happens just with the blood flow. Okay, blood flow, great. Mm -hmm. So we need to remove the pathiness through the venous, uh, a blood outflow and create, get more blood as an arterial blood flow, which means the neck. And then I start realizing that actually the women that have a long, nice, proportional neck are looking much better. And to be honest, from the far, you can see a person, if it's older, if it's younger, and it doesn't matter if they have a couple lines on their forehead, you see it by their posture, by the way they carry themselves, by the way here is anything blocked or not. So I start looking at it like from the, from the bigger picture. And a lot of people ask me like, oh, why you didn't take day by day picture? And I was like, because I was also amazed that it's working. I, I, I wasn't sure like how, 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 how this is going to take me from point A to point B. Um, then I was able to uh, meet some ladies from Japan, also one of my biggest uh facial massage mentor. Then I started meeting people from the neuro rehabilitation clinic. I was trying to find anybody, any profession that looks at the body as one, 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 one point, not like right now, Western medicine trying to cure body part by part, right? You have a heart doctor, you have a nerve doctor, you have a uh, the, 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 even the uh, physical therapist. When you go and say my arm, hurts they work on your arm despite the fact that that could be a compensation and it hurts because it's a victim of the other cultural compensation that have happened to you and then i came across um uh, thomas meyer's book anatomy trains that uh, blew my mind i started taking his old webinars i was like a good student i went to his private seminars and i came and i was like I am a holistic beauty. <laughs> I'm under holistic beauty. I want to know what we can do for the face. And of course, since he's a man, so he wasn't really impressed. And I was quite young, comparing to all of the uh, experts, all of the licensed massage therapists that owns their clinic, and they were sitting together with me on one table. But I start asking the question that were like missing parts. I was making like a huge puzzle, but. Um, Face all, always fascinated me because through the face, we first of all, our nervous system is, sits right here, our brain. And our brain, our glands and everything what is, get, is there, it's controlling the rest of the body. That's one thing, right? So I was like, so if I can address face and make the best, um, the best atmosphere, the best environment for the structure there, Perhaps I can make my body function better, which uh, then, uh, like even now, we, me and Tom, we're working on more and more mm, mm, looking into the research or looking how to make the research about how work inside of the mouse because you are right there. Your gland sits right there that ch checks your hormones, how working on the muscles that are connected to the bone, whereas your gland sits can literally um, transform the whole, the, whole, the whole body function, the whole hormone function. That's one. And secondly, we are the only animals that have facial mimicry. No one else does. No, if the bear will attack you, they will attack you with the smile. We, we have our facial muscles because at some point of um, our, how we were 
you know, this is how we would show, are you our friend? Are you our lover? Or are you our animal? That's why our negative uh, facial muscles, the one that depresses, the one that make uh, angry or sad face, they are just stronger, just stronger, because it was more important, it was more important um, evolutionary eyes wise show us mm, like i'm 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 mad at you or like i'm about to attack you or you know to protect ourselves so the depressor muscles needs more attention and that's why with time all women we have our big platysma depressor our depressors right here and we get this look of um i don't i don't know how to say well, unhappy look then I start looking at the muscle tension, like uh, as like, okay, face massage relaxes the muscles, right? So muscles contracts, muscle doesn't contract just by its own. It contracts because of the nerves. So there's our brain. We feel the emotion. Muscle contracts, has a contraction because we are, haven't been we are, haven't been taught how to relax our facial muscles. If you go online, you will see how to relax hamstrings, how to relax this and this, but you will not see how to relax facial muscles. And when I talk relax facial muscles, I don't talk uh, just put the cream and glide, glide. This is this is different. This is more like into the sculpted. It's not that myofascial relaxation. So that's when I was like, okay, so if brain communicates to the muscles, muscle communicates to the brain through the nerve, by relaxing of those muscles, you can communicate to your brain that you actually feel better. Because with age, with age, and this is this is also I'm I'm a lot about the research, and there is a research from plastic surgeon Claude de la Ronde that said that facial aging, it's not about sagging skin, it's about the uh, facial muscles get intense. They get intense. Uh, they were uh, they were length and nice. Then they get intense. They get in they get in stuck in a shortened position. When something is getting stuck in a shortened position, the fascia around the muscle, which is facial muscle, has very tiny tiny fascia. It's also getting shortened. And then imagine you had uh, you had your depressor this side, and then with age and with emotions, with the stress that we're going through. Your muscle became this size, this size, and the skin, the skin, the skin is great. The skin is, the skin just doesn't have any more the support. So it has to fold into the wrinkle. We also have our ligaments. We also have our fat pockets and our facial muscles literally uh, move them with age, right? It doesn't happen overnight. Plus any tension in the muscle per creates tension in the fascia, any tension in the fascia, whatever you call it, adhesions, fibrosis, gluey part that we feel when we massage it, it's um, stopping good arterial blood flow and preventing the lymph flow. Uh, again, when we, I talk a lot about the lymph, but for this purpose, I'll talk about blood flow because anyways, the lymph goes into the venous blood. So not only your, and your skin is on top, your skin is the victim of what's happening underneath. So your skin doesn't get a uh, good drainage, right? And doesn't get new arterial blood. So we are by, I don't know any, every woman experiences a different age, but we end up with dual, um, not bright skin because it doesn't have a good circulation. And this, this concept fascinated me. I also understood that the nerves play a huge part of it. So I made sure that I went to the kinesiology um, study. I went to the osteopathic. I had uh, four mentors, the great osteopath, that taught me the techniques on the face of the craniosacral therapy. I tried to, to, to manage... Um, make them be able to when you make it on yourself because i'm very big believer on the self-care and that's you know the research is coming that our when we touch ourselves it perce perceives differently when somebody else touches us so it's it's also that the concept of when you introduce your hand uh, your hands to your face it's also blows everybody minds they they didn't know because uh, there have been a lot of um Mm, a lot of noise from people like oh don't touch your skin don't pull on your skin you can you can stretch your skin and this is this is complete false um not only there is no research on that right uh, they would they would make sure that they do it 
But also if you think about the traumatic experience for like a trauma surgeons, when they do a, a skin graft, for example, in case of burns or skin cancer, when they have to transfer one part uh, of the skin to another part, they don't take the small part, stretch it in a machine or in the hands, <laughs> you know, and put it on a bigger wound. No, they actually take a bigger part of the skin because they know that the skin in general, very elastic. So that concept is flawed that you cannot touch your skin. And I think that um, beauty industry, it's a millions, billions dollars of industry that been really hiding and being really um, quiet about those natural methods of myofascial massage of the, um, of the um, piezoelectric techniques and piezoelectric techniques. It's a techniques that when you work on your periosteum and one of the main cause of aging is actually not the sagging skin. It's actually the skull skull uh, bone resorption so not only we can relax our facial muscles does uh, you know remove the wrinkles and make sure that the skin is bright circulated drainage that the fat pockets are standing where they need to be that the ligaments are not over um how they say laxity laxicity of the ligaments which is not true because the ligaments are very short but they do because of the fat pocket any fat attracts more lymph any lymph attracts more fat so when there is no lymph on um, good drainage it's like for example a case of jaws right with age our jaw changing the position uh, again dental challenges masseter tension uh, a lot of things are happening here and then there is a depressor and there there is a ligament and a fat pocket there is no good drainage fat pocket gets enlarged pushes that ligament here is like a fixed structure and the depressor and we get that jaws right so it's a very complex um complex topic but i am i've been fascinated by that and i've been studying it for five years and all of my first of all i am a work of my words and right now after starting the glow i see so many transformation the inspiring transformation so many uh, medical claims of, of high blood pressure removing headaches that i cannot make <laughs> you know i can just still say that you know i'm gonna sculpt your face and you're gonna definitely feel and look younger but um i really wish that we would have put this into the school into the any woman's education it's empowering us I think that women being, uh, we've been really, I think they stole it from us because if you look at any, any, any website, any, any plastic surgeons, they say, well, you can um, exercise, you can uh, eat well, you can do a good skincare, but there are some, you know, there is some aging signs that you cannot do anything about. And I came and I said, no, there is actually so many we can do about that. So Let's start. Let's start. It's never too late. I I have, um, especially my 50, 60 plus clients, they, they, they show such a result that they're like, I look better than in my 30s. And that that's pushes me, pushes me to study more. I've recently gone to dissection when I dissected the faces, when I actually looked, what is this? When I actually had a piece of the skin <laughs> separated and tried to stretch it and it was impossible. So I'm continuous, I'm a continuous education because this is fascinates me um, and I'm excited to share. I think it's a, it's a big, big community and I want to give the woman power back. You know, yeah, I, 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 absolutely. this is, this is this is a power back moment. It's the same. That's why I just love collaborating with you in this way. Cause it's the same messaging about the, it's like unintended benefits, right? You go in, it's like, just like my health reclamation program. It's you go in for one intention and then there are all of these other things that align. And I do think it requires the kind of holistic mindset that you have where you are connecting all of these dots and you're listening to what the body wants, right? Because you, you use the language of like looking younger. I don't want to look like I looked in my twenties. I was like puffy and <laughs> like all sorts of, I don't know. I mean, I was cute, but I was like unwell. Right. And so I think that's a lot of what we are looking to unlock and empower women around is 
is releasing their own radiance, right? That's why your program is called glow. It's, it should be because that's exactly what is, is being accessed is like, you can, you can see a woman's face and you can see her tightness, right? You can see her tension. You can even see her grief and sadness. And if all it takes is to have a loving guide like you, you know, take, take you through these practices so that you learn how to touch yourself. I mean, it's so beautiful and so powerful. Then you unlock your own radiance because your lymph is flowing more easily because your muscles are less tense because your literal structural anatomy is now what it wants to be instead of these habits of like tightening and contracting and closing and, you know, all of the, uh, the ways we small ourselves. I mean, it's just, it's so aligned. So before we get into a demo, Anastasia, I'd love to just, cause I know people are going to ask about this. I had questions mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear not to make you like shit talk other methods, <laughs> but like, I'd love to, to hear about like why you think, um, you know, other kinds of, you know, face yoga or gua sha or other kind. obviously you've just explained why creams and topical things are unlikely to deliver the results that we want. Um, when it comes to, you know, really aligning. It's not uh, this skin's fault. It's yes, not it's not the skin's fault. fault to stop spending like $10,000 on, you know, all the creams. Um, and, you know, there probably is a place for like beautiful products once you have, you know, this underlying structural foundation. But I, I know that you're, um, you know, like for example, like I even have it on my desk. So you will ask people to get very simple and expensive tools for the program and you use them in such a particular way. <laughs> like we get this like face suction, but we don't use the suction part. We use the other side. <laughs> so there's some, I would love for you to just share like why you feel other methods don't, your outcomes are, I'm an outcomes girl. Okay. I saw your outcomes and I also feel in my body when something is real, like in these days you can AI anything obviously, but you can feel when somebody's real. I feel it in your energy. Um, and your outcomes are, are, you know, what, what, why I clicked by on the sales page. Um, so I wonder what you think about why these other methods and approaches like don't have the outcomes that you have. Uh, yes. Uh, well, first of all, gua sha. It's a great tool. I'm like, well, it's a it's a good tool. Gua sha. It's going very superficial. And honestly, we all have different face structure in the sense of actually we have we have ectomorph body types, ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph. For example, the ectomorph girls are skinny, skinny ladies. They don't have that much of superficial fat. Thus, they don't have that much of lymph. They have what they have. It's tense facial muscles and dull skin because they don't have enough of blood circulation. That's, you know, so gua sha for them um, is going to increase a little bit of circulation, temporary, superficial, but it's not going to tackle on the real problem. Real, real deal is underneath. Real deal is on your bone. Any muscle, any muscle in your body in a sense of tightness will try to get to its origin will try to get to its uh the point where it meets to the bone for example this is little muscle the levator muscle it when it gets shortened the one that brings our lip up when it gets shortened it's trying to get this way this is how we start getting the nasolabial folds it's shortened relax it Gua sha will never go as deep. It will it will uh, traumatize a lot, and uh, you can't. Secondly, if you think about the skin receptors, and by the way, uh, this is always uh, fascinates me that no dermatologist mentions that in two thousand nineteen the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize won people that discovered new skin receptors. That means that we as a society, we don't know everything. And nobody ever mentions like, oh my God, the new skin receptors were discovered. Yes, they were discovered new skin receptors. So those skin receptors, of course, they going to um, react differently on the tool versus on your warm hand. And again, with your warm hand, you can go on your periosteum and you can make sure where you work. 
So gua sha is just the tool. I, I, you know, I don't really how to say it, um, talk negative. I just think that for some women, you, they should not be using gua sha. And secondly, you can do the same with your hand. You will have a better uh, brain feedback. You will have, you will feel more of uh, what you're doing. And face yoga, face fitness. I mean, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute in the sense of good try, girls, but it's not working. Why it's not working? Because they they have a claim. They have a claim that you have a weak facial muscles. So let's start with their, you know, their how to say their culture. Their culture is saying that one um one muscle is weak, another muscle is too strong. Okay, so for example, they say in your cheek muscles are with age getting weak. So what does it mean being weak for the muscle? That the muscle cannot contract. So if the uh, if our cheek muscle will get weak, we will not be able to blow the cheeks. If you can do this, your muscle is not weak. Your muscle is great. That's one. Secondly, uh, they say, oh, I will train my facial muscle. Well, unfortunately, our facial muscles, uh, one end go, gets to the uh, skin, another uh, end gets to the bone. Or once one end gets to the bone and to another muscle. They don't have enough of leverage for the hypertrophy. What do, what that facial yoga, because I've seen, I've seen the results, you know, before and after. I mean, I don't really uh, investigate if they're correct, if they're truthful, but I've seen some results and I'm like, yes, they increased blood circulation. Good. You know, that's, that's what, that's what probably have helped them, but they cannot hypertrophy the muscle. I've seen people I've worked, uh, in, I am a board certified structural integration and my profession and people come to me for the facial balance. And when I put them and I work on their faces and I worked with those girls, they overtrained overtrained uh, their facial muscles. Facial muscles, if you would look at the anatomy, goes like the nerve is there, the artery is there, hot pocket, ligament. You cannot uh, contract no matter how much you, they say, okay, don't relax this and just do the cheek. No, the facial muscles work in groups. You contract one, the other one contracts. You cannot separate them. So they end up with something here is like over contracted and got stuck because of that um, the, the nerve signal another one is like like when i touch those girls faces and trust me they come they come they come um I, what i see is this like a uh, high the muscle that in like super stuckness position and that it has inflammation around it and we work very hard to relax that muscle then uh remove the inflammation put the fat pockets where they belong it's um unfortunately it's a flat concept I don't like to fight, you know, I already fight with a lot of plastic surgeons and injector girls that say that the face massage doesn't work or that say that we should start Botox from 18 and that's the only way. So I have a lot of beef with them. So I don't really like poke on, um, on the face yoga girls. However, when they come and they say, why um, face yoga? Um, Versus face massage, I'm like, just face massage. Uh, when they say, well, but face yoga, uh, I've seen somebody doing it. I'm like, well, you can you can always try. You, If you want to try, you always will be back to me. And a lot of facial yoga girls are actually in my program, in my program because they realize facial muscles need relaxation, not uh, more stimulus. As I said, if you can smile, if your corners of the lip, top lip lifts, your muscles are great. Your levator muscles, the one that they're trying to train because they're weak, your levator muscles are opposite, are antagonist of the depressor muscles. So if the depressor muscle is tense, the levator muscle mm, cannot be as lengthened, not because it's weak, because the depressors are pulling down. You need to re relax the depressors and then you know take care of your levator, put it, put it into a nice uh, direction. Plus, what I also seen with uh, with facial uh, yoga, they have that hollowness, a huge hollowness in their cheek again because their buccinator muscle is tensed. And uh, when they do a part of their courses, a little bit of massage, they go too superficial. There is no way they will relax actually the muscle. So, um, I mean, as I always say, you know, like people that are under my <laughs> under my watch. 
I know exactly what I'm doing. There has been a lot of people that I touch their faces, I fix their faces, and a lot of people that did it to themselves. It's working. I can talk about uh, what's happening on the cell level, on the cell level, what's happening when you touch with a certain pressure, certain areas, what exactly, how the cell, uh, how the fibroblast activates and our fibroblasts are the ones that create elastin and um, collagen. So I can explain and I have scientific knowledge about what the pressure you need to activate those good guys fibroblasts. Uh, unfortunately, facial yoga is, it's cute. It's a cute concept, <laughs> but it's cute. It, um, it's going to create more, I don't want to say it's going to create more wrinkles, but if you are in ectomorph, you don't have that pillow of the, of the lymph that covers the muscles, it's going to create more wrinkles. You will notice within three, four months, you will notice somewhere more lines. And uh, if you your blood circulation is still on top, you're gonna have a brighter skin. But if you are if you are here, if your if your whole fascial system here is blocked, no lymphatic drainage, and you're standing and you're trying to train something, you're not gonna get like the results. Yeah, and this is where I think the understanding the nature of these downstream effects, like how they have upstream causes. And probably like the biggest reveal for me through your program was the role of the neck and shoulders. I never for one second thought about that as relevant to the ways that my face might have been like revealing tension. And, you know, so so in your program, there's basically you you educate in a very seamless, first of all, you're hilarious and so cute. <laughs> the way that you talk your energy. I just love it. And so like every day there's a 20 to 30 minute video and you just do the video. Okay. So that means that just like, again, it's the same as my program for health. You have to create space in your life and you have to, to offer your devotional attention to your own beauty and your own body and your face, right? So it's this beautiful spiritual practice of prioritizing yourself in this way. And in the video you teach and you show, and it's very practical, but also educational. So there's not like separate educational videos. I love that. Um, and when you prioritize I, this, you will I see really a shift yeah. in one month. You will see a shift in one month. And it's because you're addressing these deeper layers. And then, you know, as it, as it is, you become motivated to have this relationship with yourself. And you also start to learn the techniques yourself and, you know, then share it with other people like your, your daughters and, and everything else. So I'd love to just, before we dive in, um, for you to give a sense of like, what are the things that people, women can, can expect to see changes in, um, through your program, like what, you know, cause you talked about hooded eyes, which is a huge thing. Like how, how else do you address that? Right. So there's just so few options that that's a perfect example, but I'd love for just sort of like a little laundry list. So people know. Yeah. Yes. Before that, I want to say that uh, a lot of people say that I'm a partial expert and uh, I, I think as more as I know, as a less expert, I call myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is, the, this is the truth, you know, Same. as long as you know about yeah. the body. And I feel like people say, oh, I know everything. I'm like, are you no, sure no. that I have a hundred questions, you know, <laughs> why does it work and what we can do about it? Um, yeah, I like the concept of holistic. And when people say holistic, I, a lot of people on the internet, they don't even understand what's a holistic, what holistic means. It's one, one, through the, you know, a lot of system in the body. But if you really be like very particular, what three system go from the top to the end? Digestive system, no, just here. First system that goes from the top to the end is our circulation system, our blood flow. Yes, if you remove everything from the body and leave the blood flow, you still see the, you know, the silhouette of the person. The second system, it goes our nervous system, our brain and the nerves. There is no place in the body where it doesn't have blood circulation system and nerve system, yes? And what is the third system? Is a fascial system. Yes, you can call myofascial uh, skeleton system together with fascia. It's a connective tissue. It's very, it's very, it's a 500 uh, hours <laughs> seminar about what is the fascia, but it's it's this 
hyaluronic acid, collagen, elastin, everything is in the fascia. It's the something that shapes us. It's something that gives us shape and nutrient in us. So, hmm, so literally fascia touches the skin. This is how it is. Skin, fat, fascia. And all of this uh, fascia organize the fat. And through this, it's the lymphatic and the, uh, the blood flow goes. So if you can reach and address the fascia you can literally sculpt your face so you can you you want a more cheekbones i can get you those but regarding my program what i see what already uh, the practice people first they start noticing the difference in the jawline and in their neck because the, there is a facial connection from your neck especially from the back of your neck to your skull to your forehead you literally, this is this is one structure. And this structure, because of our tension and our trapezes and our the, like the wrong posture and our phone, you know, a lot of people saying why boomers are, uh, or why uh, Gen Z looks uh, worse than millennials. I'm like, huh. And nobody mentions Gen Z had the phone when they were little. They, when they were little, they were, they were given the phone. This is their position on a daily basis for so many years. So this is partial connection is already, has a lot of adhesions, has a lot of lymphatic compromise. So everything, everything with the face is possible. I would say first, what you're gonna notice is the jawline changes. Uh, you're gonna notice the first months, you're gonna notice your skin is brighter. Like just, you know, like you, people are gonna start asking you about the skincare because the glow will come from the inside. Then the most puffier things that uh, was, uh, you know, <laughs> mistakenly enlarged because of the puffiness. Some people have a puffy nose. Some people have a lot of um, a puffiness stuck here on the nasolobial folds. Then you're going to see the uh, drainage of those things. And um, less lines, less lines. For everybody, you know, I, I still notice and everybody, like some people have hop and their eyebrows where they belong, like super high. Some people have, especially the, this is where I'm more proud of uh, uh, when the women, uh, the ectomorph woman, when they, they get in the cheeks back, like they get in that useful, useful shape of the face. This is when I see it, I'm like, yes, she did this. Of course, of course, it's important to eat well, to eat enough of uh, protein, to make sure that you eat a lot of fat, because I'm going to deliver that blood. <laughs> Your responsibility is to make sure that you sleep and make sure that you eat well, because the blood will have to have the nutrients in it. But overall, you're going to see... As I say, floor by floor change. Usually this is the first floor, the second, and the third. The first month, second, the third. But it it changes. You it's it's going to it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna leave me looking better than you found me, that's for sure. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I have noticed in the time that I've been doing it is is from the neck up, like jawline, jowl, sort of like puffiness, and then I whatever yeah like resting bitch face <laughs> right? like I've noticed that that change in the upturn in my lips when I'm resting so I love that explanation and I'm just so excited about this so let's do it so let's do a, a demo and yes see, I yeah what it's like everybody to get the lotion on the moisturizer just in case because there's I'm big on a dry skin but some people because they, again the skin doesn't have enough circulation and the sebum production is not on the point yet some people would like a little bit of mm, lotion just in case not oil again oil you slide any myofascial techniques any myofascial specialist will tell you that we don't do it with oil um i wanted to make this uh this uh, massage more as assessment massage because people people we we haven't been taught i'm with you girls i haven't been taught this neither you know i had to learn it myself through different different mentors so we will not only massage and you will probably see the difference in the face uh and uh, we will also assess and i want you to get excited because if you touch everything and you say, oh, nothing hurts, all is good, I, I will be like, oh, I don't know what's going to change. But if you're going to see some, some, some things that you probably cannot grab it like I do, cannot like see it like I do, 
get excited because when you can and you will be able to get to that level, you will see a huge change. So there is no problems. We all we're all here, we're all full beautiful women. We just see more opportunities in us. This is this is what uh, the partial system uh, can get you. And we will start with the hour on top of our clavicle uh, on top of our clavicle we will relax everything is in the relaxed mode we will just start pressing in here um just waking up the lymphatic system and um, there is a lot of misconception about lymphatic system what is the pressing how do you press and i've talked to a lot of people i've talked to the scientists who teaches i've talked to the uh, the, the lymphatic girls that doing it and the reality is you can actually press i know they say very light very light but you can actually press and i want you to start light and then press and see if there is any mm, um, discomfort in pressing uh, discomfort in pressing uh, any painful spots, any puffiness that you might notice. Because if you if you don't see your clavicle bones, if you don't see your, um, your this is a part of your scapular bones, and here is already under the lymph, under the pillows, girlfriends, I have a bad news, right? This is already stuck. The carotid artery is right here, jugular vein is right here, brachial plexus is right there. Hmm. You know, it's already, this is already, I don't like using the word toxins, but it's already metabolic exchanges of the cells are not happening. You know, I'm going to say toxins, but reality, metabolic exchanges of the cells. But then we're going to go under the clavicle. And here, I want you to go and see how is your chest muscle, chest muscle going. You're going to make a uh, big circles, big circles, and you're going to move your tissue towards towards your shoulder you're gonna relax and you're gonna try to go deeper and deeper and see how is how does it feel do you feel any pain do you feel because if you feel i guarantee your posture is like this this has got at his tense and this is all connected to your platysma muscle and it's already uh, pulling on your jawline on the rest of the face and your face is not even uh, it's not even the face fault it's your shoulder fault so let's go and let's give it a good good circle emotion towards the shoulder you can start tilting your head you will start feeling that with the tilt of your head you feel the tension here which is good which is good and you come back and we go what i like to tell people what they should experience increase of the temperature Pasha, why this is making me feel like crying? Because we're working with your heart center. This is your sternum. Your mediastium with the back with your heart is right here. It's right here. It's not that far away. And you, if you like pull that uh, sternum bone like this, it attaches, partial attaches to your, uh, to your heart back your heart back. so we can go spiritual and say about chakras or we can say this is your heart this is your heart or we can say that whenever we get hurt we get like this we try to hide this so whenever what i'm asking you partially wise open your breasts open your front line give this message to the world that you have that message because we hide our message we've been hurt we hide it so i'm saying no 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 Put it, put it here and tell the world what you have for it. So it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> they don't like to go to spiritual because the, the research community doesn't take me seriously. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yes, well, you will see the massacre then. It's a lot of, but yes, this is all, it's not, no, no joke, right? We are going and let's start a little bit moving our head. And again, if you feel like there is a spot where it's like really tense, I like to press for 10, 15 seconds. It's called ischemic compression. Uh, and then let it go. If you think about our fascial system, you can also think about the sponge. What do you do with a dirty sponge? What do you do with the dirt? You squeeze it. You squeeze the dirt. And then the sponge gets and ready to take new water, new hyaluronic acid. That's why I think like fillers are... Like people don't really realize that fillers 
first of all, when you inject the filler, you get inflammation. So you, oh, oh look, it's plum. I'm like, yeah, because you literally injected something in your body and your body made inflammation and you're happy because it's inflammation. But then the filler needs blood circulation. And if you don't have a blood circulation, then it doesn't look good. We all seen it. It doesn't look good. Then uh, we are going to do a little a little stretch what i want you to do is put your hands like you stand you stand on your clavicle bone first of all you're telling yourself it's okay it's okay put whatever we put on our shoulders let's get rid of anybody any work stress any kid stress that we put on our shoulders this woman this poor woman relax so you're saying okay that's okay and then you take your other hand and you pull a little bit, a little bit from the jawline, your platysma muscle, and you make a tilt and a little turn. And you can even move your jaw towards opposite side, shift if it's comfortable for you. And we're going to be here for 10, 15 seconds. You should feel a good stretch. Make sure that you're still elongating from the crown of your head so you're not doing something like this. No, you're elongating. Don't stick. Uh, don't try to... Don't try to be too bossy right now. Just be careful. Then use one hand and give your head back. You already should feel... Oh, the shoulder wants to go down and let's do again so chin always down so we protect the back of the neck we pull a little bit of our platysma up we go towards the side crown of the head we move our jaw opposite direction and we relax you can also swallow a couple times it will help your amahyoid muscle. Your amahyoid muscle goes from your hyoid bone to your uh, clavicle bone. And when it gets tense, of course, it's gonna create a lot of imperfection in your neck. Now I want you to start squeezing. Squeeze, first of all, like you're trying to listen to your shoulder. When you can listen to your shoulder, you're gonna take your trapezius. You're gonna take your trapezius, don't, the thing is like, why it's so painful? If you think about youth and you think about kids, they nothing is painful for them. Pain, it means inflammation. Inflammation, nerve are not, nerves ending are not happy. And that doesn't mean youth, doesn't mean beauty, doesn't mean health. So we try to listen and then you keep squeezing it like it's not tomorrow. And you're turning away from this. And again, you take... Take the second purchase, listen to it, give yourself opportunity to grab a bigger purchase of trapezes and turn away, give it a stretch and squeeze again. Up and squeeze. Very good. And here you will just move with the vibration force the upper portion of the upper trapezius towards the back like you're trying to move the tissue with age uh, and with our uh, not correct usage uh, our up lower part of the back of the neck gets shortened and the tissue moves here that's why we one of the reasons why we have a lot of extra tissue, extra lymph on the front of the neck. So we always try to put it back where it belongs. And with fascial system, you can do it. So we listen into other side and moving. If you have troubles taking your trapezius, you can also lift your shoulder a little bit. Then you're gonna have better. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And when I say squeeze, I really mean squeeze. And then, towards the side and the third purchase, the third purchase and move it towards the side, a little bit for the upper sides, just towards the back where it belongs, the tightness. And let's all look at the sternocleidomastoid. 
fascinating muscle, not only it's guarding your carotid artery. So if you feel pulsing, first of all, your carotid is way deeper, but if you feel pulsing, <laughs> if something pulses at you, don't press back, but you should be comfortable. You can press with your hand, uh, with your forehead into your hand and your sternocleidomastoid will get um, more defined and this is your platysma i've seen a lot of girls even face yoga girls when they go oh, sternocleidomastoid i'm like no the sternocleidomastoid holding your head it's a it's a good muscle so this is a muscle and you i am interested in this part because most tension is where the muscle meets the bone and here we also have a lot of drainages um from this their inner sinuses go here so let's press and let's see if there is any tension spots anything that we can release or we can just give our brain attention where's our intention goes where's our increase of the temperature goes there's where the brain sees it right there's a lot of also uh, situations when girls saying oh i don't know when i'm frowning and I'm saying yes, because your brain already doesn't really seize that muscle. You never touched it. So you need to improve that narrow muscular connection. So your brain knows when you're frowning. Uh-huh. Especially taps. So you really press and things. Hitting the nerve. Uh, when you hit the nerve, you will feel electric feeling somewhere else. Like, you, trust me, if you hit the nerve, first of all, you cannot really hurt yourself. This is why you want working on yourself. It's actually more um, secure because the same way you cannot tickle yourself, right? Try to tickle yourself, laugh. You can't. Your nervous system, it, it's, your nervous system will drop your hands if you're really hurting yourself. And the nerve feeling will be electric feeling. Here, there is no really major nerves that you can hit. So what you're feeling right now, it's the adhesions. It's the adhesions, it's the inflammation. And again, you doing a little stretch. And now I want you to grab this muscle and then take near your ear, near your ear, you can even put one of the finger uh, into the ear and think about bringing your head diagonally while, while um, you take this muscle and pull it down. Like you're giving the space, the space for the drainage. Girlfriends, look at my eyebrow, how it relaxed because I just worked with the temporal one. Um, if this is stuck, your drainage, your, you, you don't get drained by your eyes, you don't go, get drained by your ears. The drainage goes this way, this way, and the back of the neck. And one of the third, because the major lymph nodes are here, if this is all stuck, you cannot grab the muscle. You know, I mean, you can look better just by addressing the, some of the areas, just by opening the spots. And there is a, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem, but it all gets better. Do you think when I started, I couldn't take a thing? First of all, I nobody explained me that you have to actually apply the pressure. Only when I went into the neurohabilitation training, I applied the pressure and I realized that a good manual, you can apply three to five kilos pressure on your, uh, on your face which is crazy because if you hold your bottle like this, hold like one little bottle, uh, one little bottle, you will understand how much power in your fingers you need. And that's only one kilo. Like right now, you are, is, if you don't you know, have, if you're not a manual therapist, you don't have even that skill. So whenever you press it, it's still, it's still kindergarten. Like don't be afraid, don't be afraid. We need to activate those fibroblasts. We need to tell them, hey, we want, we want more elastic collagen full skin. Uh-huh. Find what is in here happening. And let's go. Mm -hmm. So really try to, you don't have to remove it from your neck, but what I want you is to pinch and feel where is the tense part, where it's like feels like a some gluey spots, where is where is something like this? And now. You're going to grab it and have another hand and move them apart. Like really give it space. 
give it space. One <clears> hand <throat> pulls down and another one pulls up with the ear. By the way, even working with the ear, it's so much ear reflexology. We all know there is exists. Great, great. Just relax, relax for a second and already realize that your head should feel lighter. Your shoulders should go a little down and we already activated everything to get drained and we're starting with, um, again, it, this is time to put a little bit of cream if you want, but we're gonna start with, with the pretty, pretty superficial, so don't really press don't really press, but pretty superficial. We're gonna go, we're gonna go on our mala hyoid muscle, and we're just gonna go and drain all down light pressure. So with you can use I hey I'm sometimes extra, so I use this knuckle, but you can use your first knuckles and just go like this and pull it down. Go like this, and when you go like this, uh, start um, uh, start adapting that idea of having your tongue in the upper palate. When you say king, 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 your tongue is on the upper palate. That's uh, a lot of people immediately think of mewing. And what I think is about uh, good breath, and when your tongue on the upper palate, it supports your maxilla. Maxilla is the bone that uh, defines your um, basically half of your face, um, but also, when you have your tongue on the upper palate, it's best for breathing. And if your tongue is not on the upper palate, your masseter has to get tensed in order to open the airways. And I'm very big on masseter. I protect my masseter. Uh, so just have your tongue on the upper palate and see how the tension in your jawline changes because of that. And not jawline, sorry, under jaw. Mm -hmm. While we just working and sliding it all down. Now you're gonna have your head, your finger like this. And I want you to see how without being too aggressive with yourself, first of all, we work not on the body, we work with the body, right? Because it's still alive. Uh, we're going to see how much realistically you can get yourself under your job one. This like how, how far does it go? Like, do you have to really push it? Can you even push it? Is it feeling something? Like how very light, very light you can go without disturbing. And with the other hand going this way, you like cleaning from the, from the down and from the up, you can have your, uh, your lips like pouting on opposite direction that will create a little bit more tension. And you are moving your tissue towards um, your ears. With age uh, and with the whole concept that, uh, you know, we are 80% of water, everything what we do, like everything we have water. And water, just by the law of pressure, goes into the low pressure area. And the low pressure area, it's a holes in our skull. And one of the biggest holes is our nose. So with age, we get in this because of low of pressure. So uh, the tissue wants to go this way and we always try to <laughs> put it in a different direction. Um, of course, there is a little bit of exceptions in some of the areas, but major is here. And here I want you to take your two fingers when you grab a little bit uh, more tissue and give it to the ear, like you're trying to put it to the ear, like put it back to the ear. Let's do one more with them here. So you will like a warm cleaning the under jaw. Make sure that you don't have any tension in your uh, neck. You have these two fingers and you pull it down. Let's do the same first to do the cleaning of your jawline. Mm -hmm. like this, but don't overstress your lip, don't do like this. If you do like this, better, no. Just like a light kiss, like you are trying to give a kiss, but not too much. Towards opposite direction. And now pull it towards the ear and really, really, whenever you meet the bone, really be bossier on the bone. 
Mm -hmm. And go this way. This is great. Now uh, place place your hands, place your hands behind your behind your uh, head. Like basically your like this, you're gonna be touching your occipital bone. Super interesting bone, very important for us. Mm -hmm. Like this. So you have a support and you're gonna be going with your thumb on the side of your face. On your jawbone, on your mandible, not on your cheek. So this is your soft palate. We really, I'm really big on <laughs> keeping the fat and not doing anything with the fat. So on your jawbone, you're gonna be opening your mouth and slowly, not faster than me, just where you feel the bone, this is one bone, here's a gamari card, your cheekbone basically, and this is your other bone. You can clench your teeth like, mm, and you will feel this muscle pops. So we are going there. We are sliding there like this. Towards the end. Very deep, very slow and very deep. Tell me if this feels painful. Uh huh. Yes, girlfriend. Masseter and masseter is is guarding your ear lymph nodes. So if the masseter is dense, not only it's changing position of your jaw, probably uh, prevents uh, outflow from the uh, your under eye bags. If you have the cerebral folds, it also participates in those. But also it's just the drainage and the jaw position. With age, you're gonna start noticing your face changes because your jaw position changes. Uh-huh. You can change the angle of your finger. Is it true? Is it the J is connected to your hips? Absolutely. It's your deep myofascial line. Your tongue also. To your adductors. To your pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. Change, so I usually go like this, one, two, three. Open your jaw, relax your shoulders, and slow, slow. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to find them Masseteric ligament or edge of your jaw and massage this with your lips, like you're trying to open your open your face, like you're trying to reach towards the camera and start massaging one, two, three. It's usually three floors. Right on the edge. So I am massaging. I'm interested in this edge. I like to do 10 rubbing like this, like I'm rubbing like this. This one, this one can be painful. Oh, especially for people who like to smile. Oh. Uh huh. Very, very, very good. Now, head, imagine the headband, like the headband. You took the headband, headband on one side, you lifted your forehead, because a lot of people say in the head, in this corner, <laughs> I brought it. So, everybody, I'm like, I need everybody be the best. Everybody show outstanding, outstanding result because I'm tired of this uh, plastic surgery accusations. We all have to be going to one surgeon. So <laughs> the surgeon is our hands. So lift your, uh, lift your forehead. And with the two fingers, you're going to create a simple 
eight, symbol eight. So you pull in the tissue from your temples. With age, it gets, uh, you have temporalis here, uh, another 500 hours of this super muscle, but hollowness of the temples, hooded eyes, dropping of the uh, eyebrow, a lot of things. So I am like a little snake tick, pulling, pulling on my temples like this eight. Eight, cross feet also. Uh, I don't know even a mass of the things that temporalis are not participating. Eight. So I'm pulling it out and eight and grab it with your hand. So you pull eight and you got a little bit of more tissue and eight veins. Uh, veins, are, they will increase because you increase blood flow. You want to see your veins. But if you see your vein, you can don't need to press on it. But uh, overall, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. The same as pressing on the nerve. If somebody says that pressing on the nerves is really, really bad, ask him how I am right now for an hour sitting on my sciatic nerve and nothing happens. Ha, ha, ha. You know, in the sense of, of course, if you have nerve problems, if you have some uh, things, but uh, uh, nerves don't really like um, uh, stretch. They're not really in love with that, but compression, they're okay with compression. Uh, veins, yeah, no need to press on the vein, but nothing will happen. Okay, so you got this, and now all of this tissue, you, with a vibration force, and you can support your hand. By the way, I should have said that before. If you have a table, that will be easier. You can always put your elbow on the table because I am prohibiting you tensing your neck. Uh, your eye feeling and the eye end of the eyebrow should look higher, should look higher after even this little manipulation. Now, again, the lift and start with eight. First, you unglue in everything what is there. By the way, we're working in projection of the sphenoid bone. Sphenoid bone really that's a blood bone, that beautiful butterfly bone that inside of our head and guardian of our gland. Now grab the extra tissue and grab that extra tissue. 888, eight, eight. really pull it from the zygomatic arch. Pull it, pull it, everything will get stuck there. And for fun, check your zygomatic arch, the bone, and see if there's painful spots. Usually people here have like right here, very painful spot. Uh, trigger point, if you wish, uh, or just the point of where's your face, the nurse, and put it all in the scalp. And right now we're going with a little bit of more scalp, 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 scalp. And when you go, does it matter if your eyes closed or open? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. There are some actually you can play with your eyes, but right now I'm giving you a simple version. And right now with your scalp, I want you to increase circulation. Our scalp has so many, um, so many uh, capillaries, veins and arteries. And guess what? When the scalp is all puffy, I want you to, as a part of assessment, try to take a fold of the scalp. Try, to, first of all, realize if the scalp moves around the bone if it moves like this or if it's stuck, like you here you move and here it's like doesn't move in that. Uh, it has to move almost like one centimeter. Like I take a point and I move one centimeter left, one centimeter right, one centimeter left. It has to be able to move. So this is just seeing if this is moving because if this is not moving, you're going to have your scalp gonna start pulling on your forehead. By the way, the forehead muscle doesn't really exist. There is a frontalis occipitalis muscle. Your forehead muscle is suspended by galliopronuroidica from occipitalis muscle. It's one structure. It's one structure. That's why a lot of uh, girls, when they par paralyze forehead muscle, experience a lot of headaches because our head muscle is not the big they're not the criminal the occipital muscle is criminal so just a relaxation now if you have a little bit clean your hands you have um a napkin because we're going into the forehead and here i am going to add a little bit of lotion myself uh, just 
and any lotion doesn't matter i usually use la roche just the cheapest the ones that are not gonna give you um uh, any just for the sliding and again i'm pulling this forehead and with my first knuckles i am with on top of the eyebrows with this emotion start polishing my forehead like this oil no oil no but lotion yes forehead and you move your forehead muscle towards the side i will show you what i'm doing with my knuckles like this like this like this the fibers goes this way however we have also our corrugator so we just move it we relax it press it and move it towards the side relax it press it and really press it and see how it's is it tense is it tense especially on the areas where you have lines or where your head lines see if it feels uh, our forehead should be like a cup, like clean as a cup, like our bone. Uh -huh. oh. Especially, I'm especially interested in on top of your eyebrow. I'm especially interested on top of your eyebrow. Hmm? So really, and look how I tilt my head. So it's not about me pressing like a you know, trying to reach my brain. No, it's about me resting my head on top of my hand. And moving the tissue this way, moving the tissue, moving and going up to the, up to the hair. Uh -huh. Redness, redness. Now, special for you guys, if you have a line, you take the line when it's like increased blood flow, so the blood came there and want you to do something. You, if you had have a line somewhere deep, take that line, spread that line, and with the side of your finger, with the side of the bone of the finger, start polishing again. Relax your shoulders. So don't do it this way. Probably gonna say that hundred times all the time because I see a lot of girls doing this mistake. And then you start going into the different direction. Move this like a star Start. symbol and again spread the line. Spread the line. Good. Second, second part of forehead and moving it. If you feel something like skin feeling, or you feel like You feel like there is a gluey part, so you feel like it's something. Sometimes, you know, people say it's like feels like crunchy, <laughs> like yeah, fibrosis feels like crunchy. Uh -huh. Remove your forehead. By the way, not only we just pressing on our forehead and removing our forehead, we also work with the frontal bone, frontal bone, frontal lobe is sitting right there. It's uh, our reactions reaction towards the world. How do we react to the world? How we process our reaction towards the world? Um, maybe there are some reactions that, uh, you know, we thought one way and react a different way. Maybe that's a time to make it zero. Make it zero right now. So uh, everything is connected, everything is circulation. So you're working with that too. And polish the bone, polish the bone, polish the bone. Pressing hard, yes, pressing hard. But uh, you always, from one to 10, 10 is stars and tears. I don't want you to go there unless you're on my table and I can kind of hold the space for you. Uh, but from uh, one to 10, I want you to go five five, six, seven, but you always can control. But again, pressing hard versus, there is a difference in, a, especially when we go into the fascia work, there's a difference into the pressing and there is a difference into melting, 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 using the pressure of your head and hey, I'm deep, I'm deep, deep, but you don't know, yet, yet, you, know? you know? Of course, it improves the texture structure because uh, circulation, because we relax the muscle and the skin can actually Finally, feet, eat, <laughs> feet, feet. Now you 
take your hands, feel two hands, feel both hands and stretch. Make yourself nice eyebrow, nice, nice stretchy thing. And again, two hands should be on one level. Like you feel the stretch and one level. Now that one of the last ones, we're gonna have our eyebrow have a pinch. So first of all, prepare prepare on the 11 level. Um, you hold with one hand the middle and here you pinch and looking down 10 times, blink. Pinch. And when you pinch in this eyebrow, when you pinch your eyebrow, think that you move in this away. Our caricature uh, moves this way. So we trying to Place it back, place it back, relaxing to get the reserve vocabularies uh, and holding them nose bridge. Do, doing like a ringing on the old phone. Somebody remembers when you put the finger and you just rotate it. So you pinch, pinch well. Uh, a lot of people at this moment already cannot grab anything. I uh, advise to take a napkin and then you can really pinch it. Turn it and ten, ten, ten blinks down. And take another part, pinch it, like pinch it like a clip, like a clip that you would put your clothes out before we had dryers. Then, and I'm interested till the middle, the corrugator goes till the middle. Pinch, like really grab everything. Grab that fat part. And pinch, 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 pinch. Uh, and do this. Just, as I say, brushing, brushing, brushing. Took. The eyebrow went up. Why? Because we just I just relaxed manually the muscle that drops my eyebrow. It also should create like that numbing effect, that <laughs> temporary botox effect. When you actually don't want to wrinkle your forehead now because not only your brain knows where your forehead belongs, knows what you want from it, but then like it's relaxed, doesn't want to wrinkle anymore. Um, massage has compounded result, especially when you work on fascia, when you work just on sculpting of the, the, the skin or like making it temporarily, 10 circles down, temporarily looking, that doesn't have compounded result, but fascial work, myofascial work, which is massage uh, on muscles, have compounding result. And within uh, six to six months to one year, you can create a change in the deep fascia, and that's a permanent change. So you can really sculpt your face, put your eyebrow where you want it, but then we need to create a change on the deep fascial level, which is totally possible. 10 circles, 10 circles, and move, move. And now brush it, brush it towards this way. Mm -hmm. And with two fingers, increase of the temperature, temporary redness, don't worry. Uh, and from the nose bridge, this, this hand is taking your nose, not on your cartilage, but actually on your nose. One, and these hands are going, this, like you're trying to take your nose like away, away. So you're taking your nose, nasalis, and this, these fingers with supporting each other, doing the screw in motion, lifting and ironing your perseverance muscle. Like this. Very slow, very slow. No need to press. You want to create a deep, deep, deep stretch. Uh, not stretch, even so, it's more like correct placement of your press series muscle. Mm -hmm. Again, and lift, 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 and go up to your, to your hair. Now we take your hands right here, and we think, about the middle of your forehead. I will show with the fingers, we're gonna go like this, but without creating extra lines. So you separate your tissue and like this, go up, 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 and go up, up, up. 
Go up, up, up. Very good. And relax. Now, one hand holding all of this and you open your mouth and you go in on the side of your nose. Like this, down and a little bit towards the cheekbones. Down, towards the lip. And on the cheekbone like this. And relax, change your hands. Uh -huh. Great. Now we're just going to take two fingers and do a little fold towards another. So like you're trying to pull a little bit of the skin and fat, superficial fascia. And like one finger is weights, so this finger is weights, and this one brings the tissue. Yeah, the nails will be hard. I don't, yeah, especially when we go in my program, we often go inside of the mouth <laughs> and uh, inside of the nose. <laughs> so you will have to get creative. I'm pretty sure it's doable. I am a person with no nails for a while. So, and here, get yourself very, very active when you get to your temporalis. Like you're trying to get a fire and down. Your cheek, everything here should be. Off. And again, a fold and one hand patiently waits for another. Moves. Patiently waits for another. Moves. Patiently waits. Don't press. This is we're already finishing. We just doing the extra lift, extra reorganization. You know, when I've seen people, open people, not anatomical models, but open people, I've seen that it's a lot about organizing your fat, literally. Your fat needs to be organized. And here, make a fire. Make a fire and send it towards the middle of your forehead and relax. Of course, I, I can be doing this for another 20 minutes, but I know that we have limited time. So I hope everybody feels alive and awakened. Amazing. And I This is such, 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 such a good demo. Thank you. I think you no answered. Problem. I don't know how you were multitasking to the extent that you were, but I think you answered a lot of questions. And I think there's one question that's worth airing for everybody um, that Ashley was asking, which is like the nature of an online program versus having you personally interact with our, our faces is that there's a lot of room for error. Right. Um, so if, if women are not doing this, like quite correctly, like how technical does it need to be? How precise can they still expect results if they're doing uh, their best? You know you know, Kelly, I, this is why I'm like, I have a wait list to my program. I have a limited spot because yeah. anytime when the girls are not sure, I always encourage to send the video, how they do the technique. Uh, I always encourage questions, uh, videos. Uh, I give uh, much longer explanations about the techniques and try to get with the feeling. And I always say face massage, it's a skill. I don't expect you to do everything perfect. I don't because it's a skill. Your fingers are not ready. Your tissue is not ready. That's why you have 31 day of my everyday new tutorial, but you go through the program twice. So even the first time you kind of were not sure, the second time you already aware, but it's like a plane and a piano. I don't expect you to play correctly, but you cannot really damage yourself. Um, the worst which you can do is not to press enough, as I say, because you're going to just remove water, you're going to have sculpted face. But I encourage always press enough because we need the fibroblast. Uh, it comes with time and video, 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 video. I think all girls, based on the results <laughs> people are doing, uh, Pete and people showing me, I think they all get in it. I try to simplify. Um, even, even when I take clients, I take only clients that went through my program. Like yeah. you can't 
come to me because it's it's important no matter if you high profile person or something like this no matter if you fly me somewhere i say mm -hmm. did you go through the globe yes, <laughs> because if totally you get that it's not one time i wish i wish girlfriends we don't have no hope there is no hope there is a cosmetic industry failing us yes it's it's failed like you can see the girls that have been under the cosmetic industry they don't look amazing not all the time we are the only hope and we need to learn that we need to pass it to the sisters mom daughters this is, has to be a part of our self-care so it's the same way as we clean our teeth as we clean our head and we need to clean our facial muscles from the tension, our neck from the tension. Um, th th this is non-negotiable <laughs> if I would be a person. Because you will feel more relaxed. And I know if woman feels more relaxed, the whole world feels more relaxed. So um, that's, that's, you need to learn it. You need to learn it. You need to understand that it's a skill, but this is, this is only opportunities. Only better you is uh, ahead of you. There is no more going back to old you. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, if I could just do my own pitch, I would say that, you know, this program is under $300. I would have paid literally 10 times as much for this opportunity. And also the way that it introduced me to a different path, you know, which is again, the parallels between our programs are immense. Um, and you will initiate yourself to the experience of, you know, touching yourself in this way every day. And it's a very specific style, as you can see, you know, it's not like petting yourself lightly. It's a very um, balanced, right? Intentionality with love and, and attention and you can learn it, you know, and then you can keep doing it. It's available. You get the access to the program for a limited time so that you do it. I actually think this is a brilliant model and I have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, move my because otherwise I know otherwise, woman, I do it. if I keep a lifetime, they will yeah. never start. And secondly, I honestly have limited spaces and yeah. you guys are going to be the first one who takes it. <laughs> because I want to take your hand virtually, you know, and walk you through this 60 days of your transformation. You're going to transform. Your life going to transform. A lot of going to transform. The way you look at yourself is going to transform. It's about, I, I, I cannot create another you. I can make the best of you. This is, and you, I, and I honestly, when girls are like, thank you, thank you. I'm like, oh, uh, I didn't touch you. I didn't you do anything. Yeah. You know, totally. this is when I'm like, this is all you. This is all on you. <laughs> and when you see it, when it works, and the only person that you need to think, think is, you know, partially us and majority you, you like, oh my God, is there anything in this world that I cannot not do? You know, like I, yeah. I can do it. You know, I, I love it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So um, it's really an honor. And I I just was that I literally I was like emailing from the first week to her team. And I was like, you have to give my people this opportunity because I just feel very strongly about it. And there are, you know, she has a membership. There are ways I'm in her membership. I told you there are ways that you can continue to have access, um, continue to do this work. Or you may just feel like, listen, I had my experience. I learned what I need to know and I can continue on my own intuitively. There are many different ways to go, but she's, you know, she's got you. The first thing is to have the experience, to have this initiation, you know, to yourself. So I am so grateful that you took this time. That was an incredible demo. And I know that everybody, I mean, just look at the chat, like everybody can feel, you know, the difference, you feel the difference in real time and you see the difference you know, on the order of one to three months. I I've heard you say that like the first year is where you really cement in, you know, this type of restructuring depends how, how much there is to realign, obviously. Uh, so I think it's, there's just so many parallels in the way that I've seen health and, um, reclamation from chronic illness go. I mean, it's the same story over and over and over again, because we are listening to what the body wants and you just happen to have, you know, that guidance to offer. So I'm so grateful. Um, yeah. Everyone's going to get, yeah, you'll get the information by email. Obviously the link has been in the chat and it's, a, it's our um, special link. Uh, so you can access it now versus when it's publicly available. Yeah. And I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled to be collaborating with you in this way. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you everyone for your beautiful faces and enthusiasm and for trying this out and trusting me. 
to uh, share with you the resources that I have deeply vetted and feel are aligned. So I think that's the best way to start 2024. Uh, like you will you will meet spring as a different woman like I always encourage take before and afters because you you see you see yourself in the mirror every day but when you're gonna see people that you haven't seen for a couple of weeks they're gonna ask you questions <laughs> so you want to have everything documented that like the change the change will come it's impossible not to come it's it's 99.9 you just need to do it that's the only yeah. that's the only thing that you just need to find this time and prioritize yourself and that many minutes it's thank you kelly so much yeah. for paul i'm very excited i think this is this is a beautiful collaboration and i'm very excited uh, to take care and nourish your people on my program thank you everyone thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much bye bye Bye. Bye.